Okay, now for question number 24 from May, June, sorry, from February, March 2019. You wish it was May, June right now, wouldn't you? But no, it's February, March 2019. Um, paper 2-2. Two, two. You have a quadrilateral shape, okay, which is split into two triangles. You've got to find the length SR. So I'm going to call that length X. Now, we have... This triangle, which is SRP, so we've got the triangle SRP. In this triangle SRP, okay, we see that it's not a right angle triangle, so we cannot use SOCAD tower. However, we have an angle that's opposite the side we want to find, and we have an angle on the side that are opposites. So we can use the sine rule to calculate the, um, the side that we're, we're looking to find. Okay, we can use the sine rule. So let's um, go ahead and do that. So we know that x over the sine of the angle opposite is equal to 7.4 over the sine of the angle opposite. I like to use the sine rule. If I'm finding a length, I put the lengths on top. If I'm finding an angle, I put the angles on top. In this case, I'm going to put the lengths on top because we're finding a length. So then I can say x is equal to 7.4 times the sine 53 degrees divided by sine 97. I don't actually calculate what they are until the last step so that I don't lose accuracy in my answers. Now, I've got to make sure that my, my calculator is in degree mode so that, because our angles have to be in degrees here, and well, the angles are given in degrees here, so we have to use degrees. So it's in degree mode, so we're fine. So I can just say um, 7.4 times the sine of 53 divided by the sine of 97. And that gives us 5.95, 5 5.95428, 5 5.95428, it continues on. All right, I haven't ran it, I've just written dot dot, so it continues on. Now what we need to do is round it, it doesn't tell us any information about how to round it so we have to therefore round to three significant figures which gives us 5.95 centimeters so you always round to 3sf if it's a length okay or anything basically unless it's one of the exceptions which we went through some of them currency angle bearings and so on now next we've got to find what rq is rq is this length over here i'm going to call it length y now this is a case where we know the angle opposite the side we're trying to find. We don't know any of the other angles, but we do know the two sides, the two other sides of the triangle. And that's a classic case of the cosine rule. Now the cosine rule, when you're finding a length, is a squared equals b squared plus c squared minus 2bc times cosine a. We're supposed to know that as, as well as the sine rule. However, it's not just good enough just knowing it like a parrot. You have to understand what it means. So the A is the side opposite the angle. Okay, so the A is the side you're trying to find, and it must, and the angle A must be the angle on the opposite side to that side. And the other two sides are B and C, it doesn't matter which one is which. So here we're going to have A squared, which is our Y. So Y squared equals B squared plus C squared. So it doesn't matter if I put 7.4 or 8.5 as, as B and C. It really doesn't matter. So I'll just put 7.4 squared plus, is it 7.4 or 8.5? 7.4 and 8.5, yes. 7.4 squared plus 8.5 squared minus 2 times 7.4 times 8.5 times the cosine of the angle, which is opposite the side we're trying to find. It's the only angle we know, which is 26. 26 degrees. So cosine of 26. Now, that's like the mark for the steps here. Okay, I like to keep this in a separate bracket. Although you don't have to, your calculator won't actually um, will, will follow a bit mass. But some people make a mistake here and they do 7.4 squared plus 8.5 squared. Then they do minus 2 times 7.4 times 8.5. And they calculate what all that is. And then they multiply by cosine 26. And that's wrong because you have to use bit mass. So you have to do, this is like a multiplication. 2 times 7.4 times 8.5 times cosine 26. All of these must be multiplied first and then subtracted from that. Okay, calculate will do that automatically anyway. 
can you do this? So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to put straight away the square root of 7.4 squared plus 8.5 squared minus 2 times 7.4 times 8.5 okay times cosine of 26 okay and here we have the answer I put the square root so it's going to give us the answer with the square root so you get y is equal to 3.7338 y is equal to 3.7338 dot 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 so we've got to give the length to 3SF, so it's 3.73 centimeters. And there we have the answer for RQ. Okay, so that's the answer to part B. And that's it. That's the end of the paper. Okay, thank you for watching. So that's February, March 2019, paper 2-2 completed.